Hello, boys and girls. Bonjour tout le monde. Je m'appelle Crystal. My name is Crystal from Chez Crystal. Um, welcome to my channel et bienvenue. Bienvenue, ça fait plaisir de vous retrouver ici. Today I'm going to read one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Um, this is a favorite in our household. We love it. Um, je vais vous lire un de mes livres préférés qui s'appelle The Snowy Day. Le mot que je veux que tu retiennes, c'est la neige, c'est the snow. Snow. Snow, c'est la neige. Snow. Donc voilà. Essayez de suivre, même avec les images. Il y aura des petits mots qui vont vous sauter aux yeux. So, you ready? Here we go. One morning, one winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Do you see all of that snow? He's looking out of his window. Vous voyez la neige? After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Pretty cool, huh? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Il a traîné ses pieds pour faire des, des traces dans la neige. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. C'est tombé pile sur sa tête. <laughs> he thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Whee! La montagne, the neige, the snow. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Ah, il avait les chaussettes toutes mouillées à cause de la neige. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Mmm, a nice warm bath. Bum, bum, bien chaud. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Il était triste parce qu'il a regardé au fond de sa poche. Il n'y avait plus de, de boule de neige. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream, his, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Hmm. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. <sighs> the Snowy Day. I love this book. Do you like this book? Vous aimez ce livre? See you soon. <laughs> Take care. Au revoir.